Hey everybody. This is my 125 gallon native tank. And earlier today I threw my crayfish trap out. And hopefully we're going to be able to add some crayfish to the tank this afternoon. I've got, I don't know, three or four of them in here. I saw a few the other day. I do see them come out occasionally. It's kind of hard to tell. But right back there, the way those rocks are piled up, you can kind of tell that underneath of that uh, big piece of wood and the rocks back there is one cave that has been dug out for a crayfish house. It actually looks like this little hole right here might be where a crayfish is living. So I've got a few of them in there. I just don't see them very often. They wisely don't come out very often because the creek chubs in this tank have just gotten so big that when the crayfish come out, they just get brutalized by the creek chubs. And even if they're too big to be eaten whole, uh, the creek chubs will often break legs off and tear their claws off, and eventually they'll just beat them down to the point where they wind up killing them and eating them anyway. So I've had the crayfish kind of go to ground, and we don't really see them very much anymore. But that also has to do with the lack of crayfish in the tank. If I get a little more in here to put a little more pressure on the territory, then we'll probably see the crayfish out and about a little more actively. So right now we're going to go ahead down to the stream and check it out. I don't have really high hopes for it. I only set it out about a couple of hours ago, but I did throw it right out in the middle of the current rather than off to the side where I normally do. I threw it out in the deeper water and I saw a big school of really large dark fish swimming around. So I think there were some really big creek chubs um, swimming around in there, which you don't often see. They're usually not anywhere near approaching the size of the ones I have here in the tank. So it should be interesting to see what we see when we get down there. So at any rate, let's get going, and I'll see you down at the stream. All right. So the trap's only been down here for about two hours. But I did throw it right out in the middle. So we'll see if we don't have something in there by now. Definitely got a bunch of little minnows. Well, let's see what we've got. I don't really think I want any of these, but you never know. It might be something interesting. These are those little, some species of Natropus. I don't know what they are. But I got a bunch of them in the tank already. And as far as I can tell, that's all that we caught. Uh, there's one chub in there. And we don't want any more of those either. So we'll just go ahead and put them back. We will put this back out there. I don't know if they're coming out on camera or not, but you see all these big dark shapes moving up underneath of that rock. That's where they're all staying. And there's two schools in here today. There's a big school out here of substantial, but still smaller fish. And then this school over here where these large chubs keep swimming up underneath of this rock. And I can clearly see um, an area that's cleared out underneath of that little rock right there. That's probably a crayfish house or something's living under there so all right everybody that was it i tried so we'll check it again tomorrow i'm sure by tomorrow afternoon something will be in there maybe i can throw my waterproof socks on tomorrow and we'll head on upstream with a dip net or something like that and we'll check it out so all right everybody thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one